When you talk about culture, uh, and, and I look at it in the text of um, Indian culture, you know, maintaining your traditions, keeping close um, uh, ties with your family, uh, maintaining all those different uh, traditional beliefs and ways. And with culture, Indian culture, you always have something that's there that you can come back to that's your strength and everything. And as Indian people, I think we have something that nobody else has. It was preschool, that's what it was. And I went to pick him up one day and um, their teacher was uh, teaching them songs and uh, it was a, supposedly a little Indian jingle where you, uh, uh, <laughs> just that stereotyping, you know, oh, and dancing around and uh, and then when I, she said, when I take the, the needle off the record, I want you to all to go like this and scare each other. <sighs> oh my God, <laughs> I was livid. That's my culture you're talking about, you know? And I tore into that classroom and I uh, picked up my son, I held him in my arms and I said, uh, we're going to leave now. Uh, but I said, I need to talk to your teacher. And uh, so I went back in and I had a heart to heart with that lady. I told her who I was, uh, and I'm a Native American. Um, I'm uh, from that great and noble Sioux tribe, and um, we have a language, we have a culture. And I said, I'm teaching my children this culture and this language. But I said, while my son is in this classroom, you're going to have respect for the Indian culture. And I said, I'm going to show you how to have respect. The white people have taught us well. They taught us how not to have that closeness of family. You know, they taught us reading and writing. They taught us the importance of money. All those things weren't important to us. One of the teachings was when you cook supper and you're going to have extra company, throw in another cup of water. Anything to fill those little ones' stomach, you know. And so I was raised in a home, you take care of everybody. You know, whoever's there, you feed them. Don't say, are you hungry? You know, you just get up and you feed them. Nowadays, we've changed that too. And we don't feed somebody, you know, we don't pull out pots and, or whatever and start feeding them. We'll always say, are you hungry? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some tea? You know, so I think we've all learned from the white culture not to be as close as what we we were at one time. But once the alcohol came in, another one taught by the white man, you know, it devastated our families. Domestic abuse, abandoned children, hungry children. So they, yeah, they taught us well.